friends, this is part three of a mini series where I'm sharing all of my favorite productivity tools and hacks that I personally use as a writer and entrepreneur. In the last couple of videos, I've talked about my bullet journal and my Google calendar. And if you missed those, I'll link those down below. But in this video, I'm talking all about Trello and how I'm using it to create a kind of digital Kanban board, which is totally helping me stay on track day to day and week to week and month to month, even more with my goals and the tasks that I've set aside for myself to accomplish. I've been learning a whole lot about Kanban boards lately from author tubers like Heart Breathings, which if you're not following her and haven't checked out her content yet, you definitely should. But she is more of a physical Kanban board that's on her wall. And I'll sort of talk about that in a second. But I was super excited when one of my wonderful patrons, Cam Mise, told me that you can make a digital Kanban board with Trello. I freaked out and I've been loving using it for the last few weeks. So I want to dedicate this video to Cam. You're amazing. And for the rest of you, I hope you get a lot out of these tips. First, for anyone who is like me and has no idea what a Kanban board is, according to Wikipedia, Kanban boards visually depict work at various stages of the process. And I would just insert in there, they visually depict the work of accomplishing a goal at the different stages. And they use mainly two things. First, cards to represent work items or tasks to accomplish that goal, and columns to represent each stage of the process. And the process most simply is is usually one, a to-do list, two, a doing list, and three, a done list. And you can see how that just progresses in what you usually do anyway. You make a list of things you need to do, you do one thing at a time, and then when you're done with that, you check it off, or in this case, you'd move it to a done list. Again, I am just getting into this stuff, so if anybody is a Kanban board expert and wants to clarify anything or add anything to that, definitely let us know in the comments. But I have recently gotten into this idea of Kanban boards because of heart breathings that I mentioned before and her YouTube channel, which you can see here. She has a whole playlist of Kanban board stuff, which I have been binge watching. And if you're interested in making more of a physical Kanban board, I really like how hers is laid out. She has three columns and she puts them vertically to do, doing, and done. And then she visually depicts her four biggest goals or projects with different colored stickies. And then those stickies again, represent the tasks to accomplish each goal. And for for me, I'm looking at this and I'm like, this looks like a lot of fun. It's very tangible and visual and can be put up on my wall. And I was sort of prepared at some point to like go out and like get a board and get stickies that I liked and take the time to like write everything out. But then, like I said before, my patron Cam was like, I actually create my Kanban board in Trello. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to try this because having it digitally would be so great. So if you don't know what Trello is or never have seen it before, welcome to a basic Trello board, which you can and change the background here to whatever you want. But Trello is usually used for productivity anyway. And I'm going to show you how it enables you to make a digital version of a Kanban board. Basically, Trello is made up of two things. Again, lists and cards. And the lists, you would create a to-do, doing, and done list, and then add cards like this to add your tasks. And I'm gonna show you a little bit later, you can use labels to color code each of these tasks so you know which task belongs to what goal you're trying to accomplish. The basic process though is you put all of your to-dos in the to-do list like we've done, and then choose one thing to put in the doing list as you do it. This keeps you focused on one thing at a time. And then when you're done, you put it in the done list. List. Then rinse and repeat with each remaining item you still need to do. Some reasons why I really love this kind of approach to Kanban boards is one, you can set up an account for free and who doesn't love free? It's digital, so you're saving trees, and time and money. It's easy to edit and rearrange tasks without losing stickies. There's also a mobile version, so I don't have to be tied down to my computer all the time. Number five, you can create checklists within each task that are check offable. So you can see here that I'm creating the tasks and then checking them off. There's even a progress bar here, which is really great. And for a practical example, like when I'm doing a YouTube video, I have a whole list of first I script and then I film and then I create the thumbnail and then I I edit and I can just create that and actually copy over checklists for different cards. So they make that really easy. If I'm editing my book, I can create a whole task list for editing my book. As a bonus, if you want to get really fancy, you can also add photos as attachments or covers. You could use this for adding an aesthetic board or an Instagram post if you're planning your posts or a YouTube thumbnail or just a cover to make your list look prettier like this. 
And if you're wondering, I just created these with a SoundCloud banner in Canva, or you could use any banner template, um, and they're really easy to create and then just upload to your Trello board. It's easy to delete and archive items that you don't wanna see anymore, or you can send them right back by just pressing send back to board. And finally, I really wanted to show you how labels work and how you can use them to color code your task and assign them to specific goals that you have. So to create the labels first, you can set that up by going to show menu here at the top, then going to more and then going to labels. And then they have a bunch of colors here that you can use. You can also add a few more colors here. You can double up on colors if you want. But for me, I have three main goals that I've shared before. I have goals for my writing and books and publishing. I have goals for my income and side hustles. And I have goals for my platform. And these are the same colors that I use uh, with my Google Calendar. So again, if you want to check out that video, you can see that um, everything's going to line up for me so that whether I'm looking at my bullet journal, my Google Calendar, or my Trello board, everything sort of jives together. And it helps just organize everything a lot easier. Then after you create your labels, you can go in and click labels and then assign them to the different tasks depending on what goal it relates to. And if you have something that relates to multiple goals at a time, you just check both of them. And one more thing about labels that I really love is you can actually search labels and just have those labels for that specific goal show up if you want, just want to clean the board up and just focus on one thing. So you just go to show menu and then go to search cards and then you can just click and it'll just show you the cards that have to do with that goal. And then if I wanted to look at both book and platform for some reason or both platform and income for some reason, then I could do that too. Now, if you want to get a little more detailed like I have, you can add a few more lists to your board. Um, and I love that, again, if this was a physical board, I would have to either create the recreate the board or um, add an additional element to it. But because it's digital, it's easy to add. And so I've added a monthly to-do list, a weekly to-do list, and today's to-do list. And this just is really happy for me because I can just, at the beginning of the month, especially with the help of my bullet journal, list out everything that I like to do in the month. And then progressively each week, I can move things over to that week's to-dos. And then each day I can look at the weekly to-dos and move over things to daily. The other ones that I've created at the end here are also big accomplishments and small accomplishments. And I really liked adding these because my done list would get really long and it would sort of be hard to see what I actually got done that day as opposed to multiple days. So at the end of the day, I'll move all of these things into big accomplishments. And this is sort of like the month's accomplishments. And then as a record, I'll move the month's accomplishments into my bullet journal so I can keep kind of an ongoing record of what I've actually been doing. And I don't know about you, but sometimes you just get to the end of the week or the end of a month and you're just like what the heck did I get done and here I can see everything that I got done I also keep a list of just smaller accomplishments or different things that just came up that weren't a part of my bigger plan but that I ended up doing so I can keep track of those too Another of Cam's ideas also that I might try is to have a physical quarterly Kanban board that is sort of more simplified and like more just like the general tasks. And then when I get into my Trello board, it's more of like the more specific, like nitty gritty monthly, weekly, and daily to do's. But having a physical quarterly Kanban board would be nice for like an overall view of the quarter and then maybe of the year. So I can see that at all times. And then when I wanna get into the daily stuff, then I can get into my Trello board. You might also be wondering, am I still using my bullet journal on a daily basis as well? In short, I am definitely still using my bullet journal, but lately I've been using it more at the beginning and end of each day. Again, like I sort of hinted at before, to track my overall progress and keep a record or a proof of all the work that I've been doing. While I use my Trello board more throughout the day to keep me focused, but the downside of Trello is that it's harder to keep those long-term records. I don't necessarily want my big accomplishments board to just keep going and going and going every single month. If I was going to keep track of everything forever on this board, it would just get too long and too complicated. So what I like doing is once I get to the end of the day and once I get to the end of 
the month. I like recording all of these things and checking off things in the bullet journal. And then I can go through and delete and clean up the daily Trello board more. The other thing that Trello can't really do is schedule out my time. I can create lists and I can maybe put in how much time I think it's going to take, but I still use my Google Calendar to set aside time blocks for each item. So in the beginning of the day, I'll set up my daily to-do list, but then I'll go into my Google Calendar and I'll make each of those to-dos a block of time so I can make sure I actually have time to get everything done that I'd like to get done. At the end though, just a note, I am in no way saying that anybody else needs to use this exact process or use all three of these. I know that I'm a bit crazy. Using one of these tools will probably definitely be enough for anybody else. But this is just what I'm doing right now and I might simplify it over time. I might realize that I don't need one of these items. But because it's really working well for me right now, I just wanted to take the time to share it with all of you. So you can pick and choose what you think might be helpful. You can go ahead and experiment with these things. You'll probably find out even more things that I didn't even know about. And at the end of the day, you can figure out what's best for you. I just like presenting all of the options, showing you all the things I've found so that you can make a decision for yourself. If you're excited to dig in and create your own Trello Kanban board or have any other Trello tips I'm missing, again, let us know in the comments below. I always love that to be a space that we're just sharing information together. And if you go ahead and create your own and you want to post a picture of it, on your Instagram or your Twitter account, be sure to tag me because I'd love to see how you're using it, your progress, and I'd also love to give you a shout out. If you want to check out even more productivity tips, be sure to watch that full playlist on the screen here and stay tuned because next week I'm going to be doing another Trello video, but it's going to be actually more focused even more for writers and how I outline my books with Trello and how I'm also using it to make editing notes and a revision plan for my books. So stay tuned because that's coming soon and we'll see you in the next video.